Hey everybody, it's me, Marty. Of course it is. Oh. Oh. I am on the water. And there's fish jumping. I should probably get my line in the water, huh? Well, it's Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. <clears throat> I guess the uh, unofficial halfway mark of summer it seems like summer is like what may 1st uh or no june 1st uh, august 31st pretty much memorial day to labor day here in minnesota anyway it's funny how it almost seems like you know right around the first of june it starts warming up and right around the first of september it starts cooling off not always but but yeah, so it's kind of the halfway through the summer already, which summer isn't my favorite time of the year. Um, trying to get comfortable in here. Um, anyway, um, it's just so hot and muggy and mosquitoey. It's not my favorite time of the year. I'm busy for going places because everybody's going places. But um, I love fall. I love fall. <sighs> Something swimming under the water here, not sure what it is. Um, sun's coming up. 
so I got home yesterday. Uh, where did my coffee go? There it is. I'm sitting on it. Um, I uh, got home yesterday from trucking. I went out. Well, yesterday was Tuesday, so a week ago Tuesday. I went out. Got back last night. Um, oh, do you ever just take time to smell coffee? Oh. Coffee tastes great, but it smells good too, and I don't take time to smell it very often. I used to, you know, and I'm just having my coffee in the morning and devotions, and I used to just just smell it for a little bit before I even took the first drink. You know, it just smells so good too, and we get so busy, even in the things that we, you know, we say are our rest times and our relax times and down times. We, even in those, we get busy. I'm I'm so guilty of being busy all the time. You know, even when I'm not working. I got home last night. Today's Wednesday. I'm home Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'll go out Monday again. And um, But I'm already making lists of all the things I want to do around the house. And projects. And woodworking. And yard work. And, you know, just different things. And But I, I like doing that stuff. It's fun work for me. And... Um, I like to accomplish things every day and do my best and seize every opportunity, but we got to take time to rest too and relax and um, Yeah, anyway, so I got home last night and then I looked at the weather And it's been so hot. I mean the last I'm all most you know most of June been really hot already 90s already and but the last week it cooled off a little bit kind of all over the country a little bit um and last night, the uh, weather was saying it was going to be in the 50s. So I thought, I'm going to get up early and go out on the lake in the canoe. And uh, because I love cooler weather and, you know, it's just more comfortable and nice. And I don't know which way to be here. So I, I don't, I don't want to look at the sun, but I don't want it right behind me either. Otherwise, it doesn't look good on the camera. <laughs> anyway. You guys probably would rather look at the lake anyway. Um, how's that? A much better view, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so I decided to come out early this morning. So, last night I actually... Uh, I told my wife, I'm, I'm going to get up early and go out in the canoe. She works overnight, so she worked last night. And then she comes home and goes to bed and sleeps. Um, but... Uh, so I thought, oh, I'm going to go out in the canoe and start my big weekend with a canoe ride early. And uh, this is so cool and stuff. So I loaded the canoe in the pickup last night, got stuff in there so it was all ready. And then I decided I was going to get up like 4 or 5 o'clock. Sun rises right before 6. Um, and uh, I wanted to be out here when the sun came up. And uh, I woke up like 3 o'clock and wondering which lake I should go on because we're so blessed. We have thousands of lakes in Minnesota. Right around our house we have tons. We have a, a dozen lakes within five minutes of this. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I woke up like 3 o'clock. I never did get back to sleep. So I got up, did stuff around the house. And, and then I had breakfast, coffee and devotions and got ready to go and... Um, and I got here just right before the sun came up. Um, so I was actually in the canoe when it came up, but the dawn or twilight, what, what is it called right before the sun? I mean, it was, you know, it's still dark, but the sky is starting to get a little blue. You can still see the stars and the moon. I'm not sure what that's called. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I could have actually got out here earlier, but that was nice. So I am on Lake Ripley, um, which is um, in Litchfield, uh, where we've lived for many years. And right now we live in Grove City. We bought a house just south of Grove City, but which is only like five minutes away. 
Um, but Lake Ripley is in Litchfield. I mean, actually, almost in town. It's just south of town. Um, it's, it's a busier lake. Um, I mean, as you can see, there's houses all around. And, you know, probably in a couple hours, there'll be fishing boats and speed boats and whatever. I mean, it's the middle of the week, but still, there's, you know. And um, so I'm looking where I'm facing right here. What are those? Did you hear that? Oh, some kind of bird straight ahead over there. Anyway, straight right there where the nose of the canoe is pointing. That boat landing there, my pickup's right there. That's where I got in. Um, and that's this is the west side of the lake. And uh, Highway 1 is right there. And, well, it's not really a highway. The county trunk, I, I don't know. But, but there's traffic on it. Um, and then right over here... There's a big fishing pier and a park. Actually, there's a campground over there. It's a new campground. And then this is the north side of the lake. It's almost round. Not perfectly round, but that's the north side of the lake. Um, which I don't get. The sun's coming up. It rises in the east and sets in the west. Why is it it's kind of rising in the north or northeast? I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much north over there. And then over there is the east side, and we actually lived over there. Uh, we rented a house over there, and that's when we got our canoe. We would canoe out. I built a dock out of scrap wood. <laughs> I don't know if I made a video on that or not. It was kind of a scrap wood dock, but it was kind of nice. Anyway, um, and then we started canoeing from there. And then straight over there is the, the east side of the lake, and there's a beach and a park and a boat landing and... And then there's another park, and then there's a campground. And then on the south side of the lake is all houses. Lots of houses all the way around. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a busier lake. Um, but um, I couldn't decide this morning where I wanted to go. Um, I wanted to go on a quiet lake. Um, the last video I made was on Hanson Lake, just southeast of our house. Um... And, yeah, I was thinking about going to Hope Lake, which is just southwest of our house. Um, and it's a really quiet lake. And my wife and I, uh, we were over there a couple of times. I have a geocache right on the shore of that lake. Um, and it's a pretty little lake. Um, and I think we tried fishing there one time didn't get anything i don't know um and it's a really pretty lake i don't know if there's any houses on it at all um it's there might be one farm or something but it's really quiet lake not real big but really pretty and the neat thing about it is uh also it has a, a island out on the lake and i just like lakes that have islands i've never been on an island and so uh i want to go out on that lake um and uh just because it's so quiet it, i mean there's a road that goes by with some traffic now and then but not much and uh just because there's not a lot of people on the lake um it just looks really quiet so i might do that later today or tomorrow or something um too and paddle out to the island and maybe go on the island i think that would be kind of cool uh so i gotta pause this for just a second Okay, sorry, I had to do my business. Too much coffee. <laughs> sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So I want to check out that Hope Lake because it's really quiet and um, because yeah, here we have, you know, one that goes by here and there's traffic, and then 22 is over on the east side actually, and there's more traffic over there, and um, it's just nice to not have the sound of traffic. Um, but. So I want to go out to that Hope Lake, and I might do that later. But the reason I picked Ripley, I haven't been on it forever. I mean, last time I was on Ripley was when we lived over here. Um, so, uh, you know, it's good fishing here, so I'm going to do some fishing. And, um, and because it's easy to get in here, you know, that's the thing with these other smaller lakes. They're nice, quiet lakes and beautiful lakes. 
but it's hard to get in even with a canoe and you got to kind of drag it into the rocks or into the grass and through the trees and onto the water um and for one person it's one thing but for two it's harder and and my wife and i realized canoes are really tippy with two people and We've never had a problem on lakes before, but when we went, tried to go on the river and we tipped, and that was just a disaster anyway. It's okay. It all worked out. We were okay, and but uh lost my phone. and buy a new phone. Anyway, that was another story. Um, but we're both, like, really leery now because it, it's so tippy with two people. And, uh, uh, yeah, so getting in on lakes that don't have a dock or boat landing or just a little bit harder so um she gets off work like nine and i'll probably still be out here be out here for a few hours um and she might if she's not too tired might come out for a little bit with me so i wanted it to be easier for her to get in so you know there's like two well at least oh my goodness oh there's a lot more let's see there's one two three four five at least six public docks where i could pick her up at and she's only where she works is only a few minutes away so so that's kind of why i picked ripley haven't been on in a while you know there's good fish here and catch some fish and uh and then if she wants to join me later um be easier for her to get in i can just pull up to the dock and she can get in it's easier than trying to crawl in from shore um otherwise if she's too tired she's gonna go home because she goes to bed after <laughs> after work and that so um but <clears throat> later this week we can go out together too and yeah maybe we'll try the hope lake yeah i just think that'd be fun to paddle out and uh go on to an island <clears throat> anyway yeah i'm on lake ripley today so i think i'm gonna i kind of paddled out to the middle of the lake <laughs> um i'm gonna Paddle a little bit over toward the trees a little bit and just float. And uh, I mean, I have an anchor, but it's not real windy today, so I might just float and do some fishing. Got a new rod I haven't used much yet. I'd let, it'd be fun to start catching more fish. We don't fish that much or catch a lot when we do, but it would be fun to catch more fish and eat them. I like to catch fish and then go home and clean them up and fry them right away oh that is so good fresh fish fried up um but also if we could start catching more freeze them you know when i was younger my dad did that all the time we'd fish we'd catch lots of lots of fish in the summertime and especially in the fall I mean, we always like fall fishing and uh <clears throat> And we catch so much that we'd freeze them, you know, we'd clean them and then put them in little baggies, put them in the freezer. Then you'd have tons of fish to have like in the winter months, you know. And so yeah, be fun to catch more fish. And just, my wife and I love to fish together, just to just sit and relax and fish. If we catch anything, that's a bonus. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So I just I have some time out here, paddle and float and fish and rest and enjoy this beautiful cool morning i'm probably gonna be out here for a good chunk of the morning just enjoy the cool weather anyway yeah so i'll do a few more little clips out here while i'm out here and uh add to this little video of um spending some time in the canoe on lake ripley today so <laughs> Switch it around here. The lake a little more. Yeah, you, know, you can hear birds, and I actually heard loons earlier. Um, yeah, you hear the traffic on the highway too, but I like there's always a highway or road <laughs> nearby. And I did that hike at Black River Falls, Wisconsin, the other day. That was beautiful, but yeah, you could hear the highway still. Not exactly wilderness, but. But again, whatever you can do, you know, the other day when I was at the truck stop, you know, climb a hill and sit by the trees and enjoy and enjoy the outdoors, enjoy life whenever you can, however you can, wherever you can. Yeah. 
just just take time to enjoy life. Oh, oh let's see if I can turn it quick enough. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a elegant. Uh, oh, sure. I flew into the sun. <laughs> what are the odds? Where is he? He's going to dive down and get some fish right by the sun there. You can't really see him. <laughs> You know, those are huge birds. Pelicans, uh, swans, herons, herons, herons. Is it heron or herring? I think it's heron, because I think herring is a fish. <laughs> They're really good, smoked. Good aiming practice for me to see if I can cast so that I'm in the frame of the camera. <laughs> I don't got any bites yet. I'm not like a master fisherman. I like to fish for fun and just to be on the water. I love to eat fish. I mean, I don't do it for sport. When I catch them, I eat them. I love fish. It's one of my favorite foods, especially fresh. You know, little walleyes or sunnies, crappies. I mean, I've never caught a lot of fish or anything really big. I think the biggest fish I ever caught was uh, yeah, I'm fishing with leeches. I like leeches cleaner. <laughs> and the ones I have, we've had in the fridge for a couple weeks, so they're kind of half dead. But I don't know. Um, I think the biggest fish I caught was like a six and a half pound walleye. Um, I was like, I don't know, 13, 14, something like that. Actually, I caught a few around the six pound mark when I was younger. One broke my pole, like the you know, the front half of my pole broke, and but I still caught him. I still reeled him. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know a lot, of, a lot of good techniques and fishing spots and all that stuff. I just try it and do it for fun. And a lot of times, my wife and I will we'll fish from shore or just from a dock, or sometimes out in the canoe. Yeah, I wish they had the sound of the cars on the highway. <laughs> it's not a lot. <laughs> it's mostly trucks, farm trucks, and every once in a while a car or motorcycle. It's funny because when I was younger, I didn't have any patience for fishing. I mean, I'd cast it, I'd get frustrated and upset if I didn't catch something right away. <laughs> no, I could sit for hours just floating. You know, it's. Catch fish, it's just a bonus. A lot of times I don't really fish when I'm in the canoe. I just paddle around. I just like the canoe and be on the water. Oh, I just love being on the water. Uh, 
I want to fish some more too. Catch some dinner. That's actually pretty quiet out here. I think I'm the only one out here. <laughs> so it's quiet on the lake. It's just the traffic going by on the roads. I think I might... closer to shore. It's a lot deeper out in the middle of the lake. Oh, there's a boat coming out over there. I actually like to be closer to the edge of the shore anyway. It's easier paddling, especially if it's windy. And, you know, there's some shade by the trees. And sometimes you see animals. And calm because all well, those waves are going to hit my canoe. <laughs> yeah. That's why I like canoes. They're quiet. You know, you can just float and you just kind of sail through the water. You don't disturb people or animals or wildlife. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I should uh, turn here so the waves hit me straight instead of sideways here. Yeah, that's better. Not too bad. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I guess if I had a speedboat, I'd want to cruise to the other side of the lake. Show off, I guess. I don't know. I like canoes. This is just so long. We got this free. It's got a little leak. Not a lot of dents. But it was free, and we've had a lot of fun with it. But it's, it's heavy. I mean, it's not heavy, heavy, but... I wouldn't want to carry it to portage or anything or any of the rivers because well, I couldn't carry it I don't think myself <laughs> maybe two people could carry it because it's a 17 footer it's kind of a big big canoe uh, where do I want to go I think try to head over a little bit of a breeze now. I um, I need to get like a little trolling motor to have in here for when there's a breeze. Um, there's a kind of a spot over on the other side of the lake, straight ahead over there, in between all the houses where it's there's not houses and 
I think there's a creek that goes through there. Huh? Maybe that'd be a good place to try to fish. I think what I'll do is try to get to the shore or closer to the shore where it's calmer and then I can go along the shore, try some places, and stick close to the shore. It's not really windy, it's just, it's easier to paddle along the shore. Heading to shore, the pier here, and run up to the bathroom. Because I gotta go number two this time, and I don't wanna do that in the canoe. <laughs> Sorry to share too much information there, maybe. <laughs> It's nice to share, you know. I mean, yeah. the funny thing in my canoe, it's so our canoe has again, it's 17 feet long, has a seat on one end and then one almost to the other end, and they just sit, sit kind of high. Um, I actually had cushion seats on them, and we were sitting really high when we tipped in the river. That was probably why or part of it. Um, but <clears throat> I took them out, but they still sit so high. So we sit on the floor in here on cushions. I actually have a little low chair, like a beach chair in here now that I'm sitting on. That works good. The only thing is there's bars, so you got to either put your legs over the bar or under and a little awkward. But, okay. okay, oh, there's railings, yes. Okay, let's see here. Well, hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm probably going to hit the dot. It's probably the first thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tie it up and climb up somehow. Crunch. <laughs> I should have left the camera going. That was interesting getting out of the boat. <laughs> I almost, I almost fell between the dock and the canoe. That would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, because I had to, I, I tied up the canoe, and then I had to go, get in between the wood rails there, and I almost fell. Then the boat started to go away, and I almost, almost took a dive. And so did my phone. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have it out here. But, honestly, I mean, I use my phone for a lot of things, so I really should get a GoPro or something else that's, you know, separate from my phone, but, yeah, someday, but honestly, I like taking pictures and videos with my phone more than anything else with it, so, 
And I'm trying to be more careful. So. It's a lot easier on a lake than a river. So I'm gonna. It's it's calmer closer to the shore like this. Um. So I'm just gonna drift for now. Let's see if I can get some fish. I haven't got any bites yet. But it's still fun. Probably need some fresh bait. But oh well. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a beautiful day, the Lord is me. Always oh, combining songs and making up my own songs. <laughs> yeah. I should cast and wind anyway because my leech is pretty much dead. Make him look alive. Yeah, what is that? Pokemon? I don't know, that was a seagull actually. Blue over there. Oh, this is pretty along the shore here. A little rocky area over here. It'd be a neat place to put a little, a little campsite right there. On the rocks, if it was a little quieter. <laughs> I got the road right there. But... Hey, it's all good. Hey, it's all good. I think I might later, or tomorrow, go over to Hope Lake, check that out too. We have so many lakes, again there's thousands in Minnesota, and I'm guessing we probably have maybe a hundred, maybe two hundred within an hour of our house, lakes, and some of them are really tiny, some of them don't even have names, but and we have a couple dozen within just a few minutes of our house. We're blessed. We have one right across the road from our house. Grass Lake, but just can't get on it anywhere. Come on, fishy. Take my dead leech. <laughs> it's still food. Uh, I know you want it. Hey, there's something nibbling. Could be little sunnies or perch too, because it's kind of a big leech. Could go get some live bait, I guess. <laughs> or live live bait. This is live bait. This is dead. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put my pole down, which is maybe not a good idea, but I'm going to have a cookie, drink some more of my coffee, and then I'll probably get a bite. Yeah, a few years ago when we lived on the lake here and I went out in a canoe one day, I 
there's a little breeze and there's some clouds and there's a chance of rain and you know but I didn't think anything big was coming well I started, well, so we lived on the east side of the lake. I started paddling along the shore. Uh, just a little, I mean, I never went out real far usually. I just go out and kind of float and just enjoy. It was like a little bay kind of in front of where our house was. Um, paddling around, you know, I started going along the north shore a little bit there. Not the north shore, up north. <laughs> the north shore of Ripley here. And I was only a few hundred feet from our shore by our house. But then the wind started picking up. And it was blowing. Uh, I mean, you know, the wind currents basically go west to east all the time around the earth. But but then they swirl around different ways and stuff. And different, uh, you know, weather systems and stuff. And anyway, the weather, the wind was kind of swirling around and it was... Uh, blowing towards the west and so it started taking my canoe <laughs> ooh I got a bite see I knew it would happen of course probably a little Sonny's nibbling on the tail of that four inch long leech get him here um, anyway Come on, take it, take it, take it. I know you want it. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm drifting or if it's moving. Bobber's going over this way. Can you see it? Yeah, I got something nibbling there. Probably little ones. Usually a big fish would take it. Anyway. Oh, there's a little bite on there. Huh. Anyway, I had to itch my foot with the oar. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, the wind started taking me. Boy, I really rambled, don't I? It takes me an hour to tell a story. <laughs> um, and the wind started taking me and blowing me west, and I couldn't paddle back. I mean, any any little breeze, and it's it's hard to paddle and get back against the wind in a canoe, especially just one person. Um, and uh, I was paddling like crazy, and of course, I mean, you know, this was a few years ago when I was you know, I was trying to do videos of, <laughs> and it was probably pretty cool because I know I did a few of them while I'm trying to oar. Whoa, I got something. Take it. Just take it. That was a pretty good little hit there. Um. And, uh. So I'm, tr I'm videotaping with my phone and rowing. Um, I, don't ask me how I was doing both of them at the same time. Uh. <laughs> but I was doing it. And, uh. The thing is, I didn't. I don't think I kept the videos. I don't think I ever put them on YouTube or anything. Or I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. that would have been good, some good videos because it was, I mean, it was a storm. I mean, it was really windy, dark clouds. It was starting to rain, and it was blowing me along the north shore of the lake here. It's, again, it's not a big lake. You can see it's not very big, but it was blowing me, and the, I, there's no way I could paddle back to our dock. 
So the best thing I could do is just keep away from all the docks and boats along the shore. <laughs> and so I didn't hit them or run into them. And so I was just trying to get, stay out from the shore a little ways. And then um, I eventually got past the houses and stuff. And then like down where I'm at now, I, I went flying into the rocks. I mean, I, I mean, I was cruising. The wind was just taking me. And I just went into the rocks onto the shore and... You know, there's like rocks and grass there, and and then I called my wife, and she came and picked me up, because <laughs> I there I, there was no hope of me paddling back. I, I was like, but yeah, adventures in the canoe. So that was a a storm that just took me across the lake. And then we flipped this in a river when my wife and I tried to. Yeah, I didn't get very far. But we've had a lot of fun times fishing, just paddling around, you know, taking pictures and videos and just enjoying wildlife and time together in the boat on the water. It's, it's a blessing, this little canoe. A big canoe, I should say. That was free. Oh, I... If I remember right, I think I just put it on Facebook looking for a cheap or free boat and somebody had a canoe and yeah, that's nice. So, so you know, we try to do that too, you know, if we have things we don't need and you know, we make a few dollars selling them or grad sales, but it's better just to give them away, you know, people need things and people give to us and so I'd actually like to trade this for uh, either a small rowboat or a smaller canoe. Just because it's, you know, 17 feet is a kind of a big canoe. It's just harder to carry and move. And, well, I put it in the back of my pickup and it sticks out like 10 feet. <laughs> or 10, 11 feet. Yeah, I have a 6 foot bed. So yeah, it sticks out 11 feet. I don't go far. It's a couple miles from our house. But it's too long really to Oh. But it's nice. It's so nice to get in the water. I guess like pretty much perfectly calm over here now. There's a little breeze out on the when I was out in the middle it was kinda taking me out farther a little breeze, but now it's really calm in here. Fish would be nice too. I love my coffee. When it's cooler out, the colder it is, the better coffee is. Because not only does it taste good, it feels good. It just warms you. It's just good stuff. So I made the little cooksa. 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 <laughs> um... And I gave that one to my wife, a little one. And before I left last week, before I left for work trucking, I started another one, a little bit bigger. So this one will be for me. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna work on that later too, and see if I can. That yeah, it's it's you know I don't really have the right tools, and it's. A lot of work working on my cookies, but I make one for me, and then I <coughs> yeah. my cousin 
wants me to make him one or, or a little bowl or something. So, otherwise, I'm not going to be making too many of them. But <clears throat> I am loving carbon spoons, though. I think I made, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 now so far. And they're getting better. They're getting a lot better. I'm getting better at it and getting them thinner and nicer and smoother and rounder. But again, I want every single spoon to be unique and different. I don't want them to be like normal spoons. <coughs> oh my goodness. There is a loon over here. Oh. Watch me. Drop my phone in the water. Oh, where'd he go? He's right over there. He went down. He's right there. See him? I don't know if I have him in the frame or not. Went down again. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> My pole moved. I thought I had a bite. Alright, where'd he go? I'm kind of holding the tripod in the air. It's a little shaky. Oh, there he is. Right over by the rocks. I think. Where'd he go? Well, anyway. That's neat. Where's my bobber? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, spoons. It is, you, you gotta give it a try. I mean, really, it doesn't take, anybody can do it, 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 you know, just a little knife. Yeah, it's nice to have a hook knife, you can get one. Um, you know, the one I got, I think it was 40. Um, but otherwise, the other knife I use is 10 bucks, and you know, it's, I got other little things here and there, just picking up, adding to my carving kit, but, really all you need I mean and I've seen some videos where you can actually make a hook knife out of an old uh, box wrench you know the round box wrench I got tons of old ones and I actually got two that I was trying to make but it, it's I don't have the right grinding wheel or or yeah I but basically yeah you just you can leave it the way it is round um, because then it's a full circle if you can sharpen that, you know, so you could do, you know, instead of just having it one-sided, a one-sided hook, it'd be up totally round, um, or cut half of it off with a grinding disc or something, or hacksaw, and then just sharpen it, um, you, I mean, you gotta grind and sand the, the, you know, the serrated, you know, the inside of the wrench part so it's smooth and just put a blade you know an edge on it and put a wood handle on it it's kind of a cool idea i've watched a few videos i worked on one i got two of them going a bigger one and a smaller one and i worked a couple hours on them and they're not even near <laughs> getting to be a hook knife but i don't know keep working on them. but that's one option you can make one and um but yeah, the, the hook knife you just need for the bowl part of the spoon. Um, and then any knife, it doesn't have to be a big knife, you know. <clears throat> You're doing the carving. It's just, oh, so satisfying and relaxing and fun. I'm just really liking it. Yeah, I'll still scroll saw and, you know, all the other woodworking, but... I think I'm going to spend the rest of my life carving spoons. It's kind of fun. That's all you need is a little log. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I wish we didn't have the sound of the traffic. I just heard a loon. This is a different loon. Can you hear it? It's that... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a horse. Oh, 
can you hear them? I think there's a couple of them. It's hard to hear them over the traffic, but we're over there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'll stop. Well, I should probably end this video because it's getting kind of long, but hope you enjoyed it, hanging out with me in the canoe on the lake for a while this morning. Yeah, take time to get out and enjoy the outdoors and cherish life every day. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.